eBay has over 1.3 billion product listings. That's a lot of product data. This data can be valuable for market research, competitor research, to find your next hot bid, and much more. However, there's no easy way to just export all the product data housed on eBay. That's true, unless you're taking advantage of web scraping. We are ParseHub, and today we will go over how to scrape data from eBay using a free web scraper. A web scraper is a piece of software that will allow you to choose the exact data you want from eBay's website, and let you download it as an Excel or JSON file. For today's example, we will use ParseHub, a free and powerful web scraping tool that can work with any website. Make sure to download it through the link in the description or at parsehub.com. For our example today, we will scrape data from the eBay search results page for the term smartphone. This will include product details, pricing, and more. Let's get started. First, install and open ParseHub. Click on New Project and enter the URL you will be scraping. For this example, we will scrape the search results page for the term smartphone. The page will now be rendered inside the app. Start by clicking on the name of the first product in the list. It will be highlighted in green to indicate that it has been selected. In the left sidebar, rename your selection to product. The rest of the product names on the page will now be highlighted in yellow. Click on the second product in the list to select them all. They will now all be highlighted in green. Parsub is now pulling the name and URL of each product on the page. Let's extract more data. Start by clicking on the plus sign next to your product selection and choose the relative select command. Using the relative select command, click on the name of the first product in the list and then on its price. An error will appear to show the association you're creating. You might have to repeat this process for another product to fully train the scraper. In the left sidebar, rename your selection to price. Repeat the previous steps in order to pull more data for each product. In this case, we will also pull the days left, shipping costs, and units sold. Your product should look somewhat like this. Feel free to pause the video to take a look. Parsub is currently only scraping data from the search results page, but there's only so much that we can pull from here. Let's now set up Parsub to click on each listing and pull additional information. Click on the plus sign next to your product selection and choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is the next page link. Click on no and enter a name for this template. We will call it product page. You will now be taken to the product page of the first listing on the page. The product page will render it in a new browser tab and you will be able to make your first selection of data to extract. In this case, we will select the seller name by clicking on it. In the left sidebar, rename your selection to seller. Click on the plus sign next to your page selection and choose the select command. By doing this, you will be able to create new select commands and click on more data to extract. We will do this to also pull the seller rating and number of seller reviews. Your project should look like this. Once again, pause the video to take a closer look. Parsub is now pulling all the data we have selected for the products on the first page of results. Let's now set it up to extract additional pages of data. Return to your main template using the left side tabs. Use the browser tabs to go back to the search results page. Click on the plus sign next to your page selection and choose the select command. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and click on the next page link. Rename your selection to pagination. Expand your pagination selection using the icon next to it. Delete both extract commands under your pagination selection. Click on the plus sign next to your pagination selection and choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is the next page link. Click on yes and enter the number of additional pages you would like to scrape. In this case, we will scrape five more pages. You are now ready to run your scraping project and let Parsub extract all the data for you. Do this by clicking on the green get data button in the left sidebar. Here, you will be able to test, run, or schedule your project. If you want up-to-date data on a daily or weekly basis, you can go with the schedule option. In this case, we will just run it right away. Parsub is now off to run your scrape on our servers. This means that your computer resources are not being used for scraping. You can freely work on something else while you wait. Once your scrape is complete, Parsub will notify you and you will be able to download your scrape as an Excel or JSON file. If you run into any issues while setting up your project, reach out to us via the live chat on our website and we'd be happy to assist you. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to learn more about web scraping, check us out at Parsub com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet.